Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 4 and we are still in 4.2 that is quality characteristics for business domain testing. In this tutorial we are trying to understand the next topic 4.2.5 which is usability evaluation or usability testing. Now when we talk about usability testing in simple terms it generally stands for making sure the newly built product or software is user friendly to the users or not. Now when you talk about this user friendliness it generally makes making it convenient, making it easy to understand, easy to learn, easy to operate by the end users. So how do you conduct that? What is it all about? What are the key areas? What are the sub characteristics which we target is going to understand in this particular tutorial. So generally it is a Again, of course, as a part of test analyst, being a test analyst, it is your responsibility to understand the requirement of usability for the product which you are going to deliver. And at the same time, it is also important for you to conduct a lot of tests related to that which makes sure that what are the users or what is your target audience expectation towards this product. Now, are you making for a confined group of people? Or are you making for it a general user uh, who might not be so familiar with technology? Or are these for banking people? Are this for a retail store? Anything which turns up to be a target audience, you try to understand their shoe and try to make sure that everything is as easy as possible for this target audience to understand your product, work on it, and implement the activities. So that's where we are talking about the usability evaluation which targets three aspects to be considered as a part of usability. So we have first of all usability itself, second is user experience and third is accessibility. So we are going to talk about all of them one after the other. When we talk about usability of course usability deals with making sure if the user is convenient with the interface and is easily able to operate a product. Now that could be a wide definition, very wide open because it might apply to any kind of such application for example Facebook or you talk about LinkedIn, you talk about any kind of Instagram or something, anybody can operate. But we are not talking about that uh, usability. We are generally talking about when you create a product for a specific target audience. For example, if you're making a banking product internally to be used by banking staff, you try to make sure that the keywords which are used in the product is related to the banking domain like credit, debit, transaction and all those languages which they understand. Yes, at the same time if you're trying to make a product for data entry operators, you make sure that the sequence of the uh, the fields or components on the product is in the right order because generally data entry operators use keyboards or tab function to switch between the components to fill in the details. So that would be more convenient for them to utilize the application and work freely on that. And that's what you call it as user friendliness. <coughs> Excuse me for that. Uh, yes, of course, the usability problems can lead to confusion, error, delay, or outright failure to complete some task on the part of the user. So of course we try to make sure all the possible ways to understand what kind of uh, activities, what efficiency, what you know satisfaction you can provide to your end users at this point of time. Similarly we have a lot of sub characteristics related to usability like appropriateness, recognizability, how appropriate your product is to your target audience so that they can recognize the logical concepts and its applicability and they can work on it. Learnability attributes of the software that affect the effort required by the user to learn the application. Operability the attribute of software that affect the effort required by the user to conduct a task. Now learning is different, operating is different. You can learn that means what this product do but can you really work on it. User interface of course is another part of it like visual attributes of the software which are appreciated by the users. User error protection disagree or degree to which a system products user against making errors like the information message or any kind of pop-up message which you can have or hover text which can allow the user to understand more about that and similarly accessibility which we'll be learning soon after this. User experience of course when you talk about user experience that creates the 
uh, you know, ease of access in terms of understanding the product and easily performing that intended task on the product. So it's just just not the direct interaction. It is in terms of like uh, having some kind of you know activities being performed with ease, which a user friendliness can be declared at. So. Of course, this is a part of it, so it is really important. What type factors uh, influence the user experience? Let's have a look. We have brand image, the user trust in the manufacturer, interactive behavior, and the helpfulness of the test object, including the help system, supporting, and training. So how kind of like, you know, generally you see nowadays, a lot of product showcases the uh, demo video or kind of navigational tour which helps you to understand the product whenever they make any kind of changes or make over to the product UI they try to you know give you a tour which helps you that okay this button has moved here now so currently if you are watching this video the recent change which has happened is in Google Maps they have completely changed modified their UI and you would experience a lot of move options have moved to a different location on the right so Th that is what we're talking about so they generally provide with you as soon as you update you launch the application you would see a quick tour which will help you to understand that how the things are working and where the options has moved now last but not the least we're talking about accessibility which generally means that ease of access and generally it is for a special group of audience we call it as uh, the specially enabled users or differently abled users who want to access your product yes that's true a certain applications are built uh, for specially abled users as well so that they can also work on the product so generally when you talk about your elevators you talk about any kind of you know uh, museums or any kind of visiting places will have the braille engraved everywhere now braille is of course for ease of access for the blind people even when you talk about uh, the magnifiers or on screen keyboard or even if you talk about stock uh, sticky keys hotkeys combination on your windows you these are all accessibility options <coughs> which generally allows uh, the user to uh, access the product easily with ease of access and also have access to certain different disability as well so testing often occurs during the integration level here as well and during the acceptance test levels to make sure that this is applicable to the end user and we do have different bodies uh, which have their own standards for these differently abled users and you need to stick to that so you would not have any kind of specific set of requirements rather you have everything well determined that for what group of uh, different labeled people what kind of standards to be followed so typical measures to improve accessibility focus on the opportunities provided for user with disabilities to interact with the application include voice recognition for inputs okay uh, ensuring that non-text content that is present to the user has an equivalent text alternative like so that the user can easily understand what is written on the text maybe probably the user is blind and doesn't have an option to quickly read out like narrator or something which can read the text enabling text to be resized that means maximizing the resolution so that they can have a clear vision on anything so accessibility guidelines support the test analyst by providing a source of information and checklist which can be used as uh, for testing and in addition the tools and browser plugins could also be a part of it which will help them to you know initialize the ease of access and enable such things so that it can help them to minimize their efforts towards working so accessibility also can be called as a part of usability though it is a different level of testing altogether but yes you can include it as a part of your own system so this is what we have got in this particular tutorial we'll be back with, with another tutorial on the same we have actually this tutorial into two parts so part one is here part two will be coming soon so stay tuned for that should you have any query feel free to comment below I'll be there to address your queries thanks for watching the video team happy learning